What is Happening to the Beach? by Mary Beth Spann. This is a nonfiction book with the essential question, how can a beach change over time? Presented in three chapters. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Beaches and Nature Most people enjoy a day at the beach, but beaches are more than fun in the sun. They help safeguard coastal communities and are home to wild plants and animals. Ocean beaches protect the coastal lands from high tides, endless waves, and severe storms. Beaches and coasts change because of the constant forces of wind and waves. This continuous movement of materials from one place to another is called erosion. Beach Basics Almost one half of Americans visit a public beach at least once a year. Have you been to a beach? Erosion can build beaches. Earth's surface is made of rocks. Some are the size of mountains, others are, the, others are grains of sand. In time, the weather will erode boulders into pebbles. Rain washes tiny rocks, sand and dirt into streams and down rivers. When these bits of soil and rock settle on the bottom of a stream, river, or ocean, they are called sediment. Sand is made of sediment, broken seashells, and bits of coral. Beaches are made of sand that has been pushed onto land by the waves and wind. Waves from winter storms move sand off beaches and into the ocean. The waves move the sand back to the beach in the summer. Erosion can destroy beaches. Waves, rain, and wind are constantly moving sand from place to place. This often means beaches that had grown for many years can suddenly start to disappear. Some beaches lose 30 centimeters, about one foot, of sand each year. Strong waves can quickly wash away a beach. Wind can move sand from one part of a beach to another. Dry sand moves into big piles called dunes. Plants spreading their roots through the sand, which helps hold them together. Dunes would blow away without plants. Waves and wind cause beach erosion. Current events. When you swim in the ocean, you can feel the current or flow of water pushing and pulling you. Ocean currents can move in different directions and some currents are underwater. Ocean currents that move along the coast are called longshore ocean currents. These currents move sand from one place to another. The currents do not always replace the sand. Some beaches erode and others grow. Life on the beach. Sometimes beaches look empty, but animals are there. Many animals live in the sand, which makes it hard to see them. Insects, worms, reptiles, and mammals dig in the sand, but this loosens it up. The, the loose sand and dirt is easier to erode. Sand erosion destroys the animals' homes. Human footprints on the beach. Do people have an effect on beach erosion? Yes, perhaps more now than ever before. In the past 40 years, the number of people living along the coast in the United States has grown by 34 million. The population growth is expected to continue. More people means more buildings, roads, and parking lots. This artificial land cover stops the natural movement of sand. Rain washes sand back to the beaches, replacing sand that has eroded away. This process doesn't happen in beachside towns and cities. Beach Basics The color of sand comes from the mineral and rocks that make sand. Some beaches have gray sand, which comes from shale. White sand beaches are a mix of many light-colored minerals. Some sand is yellowish-orange. It has iron in it. The Glen Canyon Dam is one of a few dams on the Colorado River. People build dams to create artificial lakes to provide fresh water and for recreation. These huge structures cause harm to beaches very far away. River dams across the western United States block sand, keeping it from reaching the beaches. Now you know that beaches are important and fragile. They can be preserved or destroyed by our choices. People will need to work together to protect the future of our beaches. Chapter 2. Science to the Rescue We protect our beaches in two ways. One way is called feeding, which means giving them more sand. The other way is called armoring. This means making them stronger. Feeding Beaches Beaches that have lost a lot of sand are called sand-starved. Feeding these beaches means adding sand. This way of saving beaches is called beach nourishment. People bring sand from other places, often from offshore. People add the sand to beaches that are eroding or will probably erode. Beach nourishment makes beaches look healthy, but it costs a lot of money. Sometimes the new sand erodes after a few years. Making beaches stronger. 
Some people do not like to feed beaches. They think it is better to make beaches stronger. They build strong structures to protect the sand from erosion. A seawall is a kind of beach armor or protection. People build seawalls along the shore to prevent waves from washing too far onto land. They are often built high enough to keep the ocean at bay during the worst storms. A jetty is another kind of beach armor. Jetties are walls that go into the water. They stop the longshore current from moving sand to another beach. They can also trap new sand. Jetties cost a lot of money to build. They can cost $5,000 for every 30 centimeters, about one foot. Chapter 3. People can help. People pay taxes to the federal and state governments. Some tax money helps pay to protect and restore our beaches. Many coastal states have programs that protect beaches. Some programs work to keep the beaches as natural as possible. Other programs aim to slow erosion to clean up pollution. Pollution is anything harmful that affects Earth's land, air, and water. Scientists use the protected beaches to study nature. Many groups work together to help protect beaches. Some are supported by the government, others are private conservation groups. They all work together. People cannot stop beach erosion from happening completely, but they can slow the process. Erosion is nature's way of building and destroying things. Beaches need our help today. People can choose not to construct new buildings near our coasts. People can obey warnings not to walk on sand dunes. People can plant grass, trees, and plants on the shoreline. The roots of the plants hold sand and dirt, which slows down beach erosion. People can learn more about ways to preserve beaches. People can prevent beach erosion if they work together. Then everyone can enjoy a day at the beach.